teacher of English and today I want to give you some useful starting introductory expressions that you can use in your introduction of academic writing task 2 according to the different essay task types that you may come across in academic writing task 2. So the different task types you may come across in academic writing task 2 of IELTS are five mainly. So the first one is to present and justify an opinion. Number two would be discuss both sides of an issue and express your opinion if asked. Number three would be discuss advantages and disadvantages of a certain issue. Number four, discuss the causes of a problem and suggest solutions, measures or improvements. And the last one could be a combination of all the above in which you answer different question types together. We'll see an example of that. So, as I have told you in my older videos, all you do in the introduction is to actually paraphrase the topic in a very clear and straightforward uh, way, starting from a general statement and then moving on to something more specific according to the different question type that you, are, that you have in front of you. So this is what, I'm gonna, what we're going to do today. I'm going to give you specific phrases that you can use in expressions for the different question tasks. So, are you ready? I know your time is precious, so if you are, grab pen and paper or your phone to take pictures of my screen and off we go. Some phrases here for making a general statement that you will need no matter the essay type. And of course, we're going to use them today for presenting justifying opinion too. Let's read them together. Grab a pen and paper, note them down in your notebook or take a picture with your phone, whatever works for you because you're going to need those phrases. So let's read them together. More and more people who die. Now and dies the number of people, dogs, cars, whatever is increasing. Recently there has been an increase in the number of, again, cars, babies, smokers, whatever. In this day and age it is common, it is often claimed or it is often argued that and there is no doubt that. The last two, it is often claimed argue that there is no doubt that you could use them throughout your essay but so keep that in your mind as of course you can do with all the phrases here but especially with those so keep that in your mind in case you want to start a new sentence and you're in lack of a uh, linking phrase these are good uh, options to bear in your mind so let's go and see a sample topic for present and justify an opinion over here as a type number one, present and justify an opinion. Let's read our topic. In our modern world, kindness is all too often associated with weakness. People have to be ambitious and greedy to survive. What is your opinion on this? And you also may come across this question instead. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Again, it's exactly the same. They ask you for your opinion. So what do we do first? First, I choose a general statement and then I try to paraphrase the topic step by step. So let me go to my general statements here. I have chosen six here for you. Are there more? Of course there are. There are plenty. Do you need more? In my opinion, no, you don't. Because there's no point in memorizing numerous phrases. This is not going to help you. This is going to confuse you. Because in the end, you're going to write only one task two in the exam. All you need is a small variety of phrases that you can use with any essay type in your introduction and make the most of them. So, in this case, I will take this phrase over here. It is often claimed or it is often argued that. Let's go. Here's my phrase, my general statement. It is often claimed, argued that... And now what do I do? I start with paraphrasing the topic. The topic in order to form a complete paragraph, introductory paragraph. Our topic is going to be our paraphrasing guide. So I have the word kindness here. And how did I paraphrase it? It is often claimed or argued, whichever you prefer, that being polite and nice to others. So I didn't find a synonym or a noun. I just made it with adjectives, with other words, with different syntactical structure. You can do this with paraphrasing in whichever way you want to, as long as it has the similar meaning. So whatever works for you at this particular point, it is often claimed argued that being polite and nice to others, 
is closely related to, is all too often associated with. So a part of phrase is all too often associated with, with is closely related to. And then we have weakness. I couldn't find a synonym that really expresses what weakness uh, expresses at this point. So again, I chose to use we the word weakness, but it's derivative, but it needs derivative in its adjective form, weak. So is closely related to being weak and oversensitive. I also used another adjective. You might not. So here we go. I have used a general statement and I have paraphrased up until here. Let's read it together. It is often claimed or argued that being polite and nice to others is closely related to being weak and oversensitive. So what do I need to do next? People have to be ambitious and greedy to survive. Now, I can choose to put a full stop here and start paraphrasing the next phrase, but in the, for this example, I choose to put a comma and then move on, linking the two phrases together. So we have, it is often claimed or argued that being polite and nice to others, claimed or argued, you will choose one. I'm just putting two here to give you alternatives. Is closely related to being weak and oversensitive. So let's move on to C the way we can do that. I used the connector as, the word as, in order to connect the sentences together as it gives an explanation, right? So, and I chose another general statement, in this day and age it is common. I don't have to do that, I don't have to use to, but in this case I just thought that it would help me. So this is something that you can do too if you see that it helps you with what you want to express. You don't have to use only one. You can mix and match and combine phrases together. So let's see. As in this day and age, it is common to what? To be overly aggressive in order to succeed. So I paraphrased people have to be ambitious and greedy to overly aggressive to survive in order to succeed. So basically, I chose succeed for survive because in this case, this is the meaning that survive has. So this is it. So far, what did we do? We used introdu introductory, I'm sorry, general statements in order to link our phrases together and we paraphrased the topic. Nothing difficult. And if you see, if you pay close attention, you will see that I didn't use difficult vocabulary. It is vocabulary you already know most probably. Polite, nice to others, closely related, weak. Okay, you may not uh, use oversensitive that much, but in this case, sensitive would do the job as well. And aggressive in order to succeed. I mean, this is not difficult vocabulary. I didn't paraphrase with anything fancy or something you don't know. I just chose a very clear way to put my vocabulary, my words, together with general statements, with explanations in order to form a paragraph. So with practice, this is something you can totally do. And what else do we have to do here in relation to this type of essay, which is present and justify your opinion? Well, we have to actually take sides and give our opinion. What is your opinion on this? To what extent do you agree or disagree? No more paraphrasing here. We have paraphrased the topic, now it's time to give our opinion and it's time to go to our beautiful phrases here, which are specifically for presenting and justifying an opinion, uh, for presenting, I'm sorry, and justifying an opinion as a. So let's read them together. Personally, I'm of the opinion that, in my view or in my opinion, it seems to me that I think, I believe, I'm in favor, favor, I will explain that in a minute, or I'm against or I strongly be agree, I strongly disagree. You can use strongly to add emphasis if you have a very strong opinion on something. If not, of course, you can omit it. Now, about favor or favor here, I want to talk to you about something. Favor, the first favor is American English spelling, and the second favor is British English spelling. So, you can use either, both are correct, both are accepted in IELTS and in all exams, of course. However, if you choose one of them, you have one type of spelling, I mean, you have to be consistent with it throughout your essay. For example, what do I mean consistent? You cannot choose favor in American English and then in the same essay write traveling 
with double L, which is British English spelling. You have to write traveling with one, which is the American way of writing traveling. And you cannot use favor, which is British English spelling, and then write color or behavior like that, which is the American English spelling. You have to be consistent and use the British spelling, which is like so. You see what I mean? Of course, this doesn't mean that the end of the world will happen or that you lose lots of marks, but if you do it a lot, yes, it will count against you. If the situation arises that um, in which you're going to have words that are spelled differently, but I just uh, need to tell you that you have to be consistent. So let's move on. I will choose this phrase to continue with my introduction for this specific essay type. Personally, I'm of the opinion that, and let's see the way it turns out. So again, it is the same up until here, and I'm moving on. Personally, I'm of the opinion that one does not necessarily need to change. I want to tell you something about one here. Some students may use you do not necessarily need to change or we do not necessarily need to change. In general, avoid personal pronouns. It's better to use the impersonal one. So I'm of the opinion that one does not necessarily need to change. And now you're going to say either once with possessive, once character, or in this case, you can use the plural there. Um, so to change one's character or their character or core values in order to be successful. Again, I chose this phrase, which is specifically for this type of essay, when, when it, of course, they ask us for our opinion. But you may have a different opinion as well. It doesn't matter as long as you state it clearly and to the point. For example, you could say, personally, I'm of the opinion that... A person in our day and age must acquire these aggressive traits because otherwise it's very difficult to survive or, or to be successful or something along these lines. It doesn't really matter. The vocabulary, again, is nothing difficult. The syntax, nothing difficult. All you do is you, you paraphrase the topic, you use your general statements, you use the expressions you need to use, and your introduction is ready to go. And if you need to note these down, you can pause the video or take a picture for both of them, making general statement, which are which could be used in any type of essay, and here for present and justify your opinion, or in any essay that they ask for your opinion, you can use those. Okay, guys, that was it for today. I really do hope you found the video helpful. In the next video, I'm going to give you expressions for the next test type, which was discuss both sides of an issue and express your opinion if needed. I'm going to give you expressions for that too, and we will do the same procedure. So if you found this video helpful, subscribe, follow me on Instagram as well. All links are down below. Try these expressions in your own writing and tell me how much they have helped you in the comments, if they did. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, good luck with your exam.